But, uh, you know, I'm, I was surprised to not see him as much, and now we see him here, so this is going to be interesting. And now they go into the Nyx Assassin, which, uh, did we see that yesterday? I don't think it was yesterday. We saw it a few days ago, though. Um, so, yeah, we have the Snapfire, which I'm surprised that you have Immortal didn't ban, because, you know, Raging Potato's been playing this hero a decent amount in the offlane. Um, mm -hmm. So, obviously, I'm assuming they had a plan for it, which must be this Nyx. Um, I really don't know how I feel about the Nyx this game. There's a lot of uncontrollable damage. Obviously, it's good against Snapfire. You can cancel the kisses. It's okay against Tree because you can carapace the Nature's Grass. The Void Spirit has a lot of uncontrollable damage, but I feel like it... Where is it going to go in the laning stage? I guess it's the four? Radiant team back. But then... I guess they, we still need to see what it's laning with. That is very true. Um, Execration draft definitely feels very much like an execration draft. Though I'm surprised they didn't um, first phase their carry with the tree when they so instead of picking the void spirit, why they didn't pick their like kind of like Ten wing condition hero in air quotes because I feel like a lot of the carries Five are going to get banned out now and they're playing against the spectre. Hey, <laughs> what's the what's the answer? So spectre, Nyx, Phoenix, Doom. Ox, Snapfire, Void. Are we... Alright, they already banned Void. I had to take a look at the bans real quick. I feel like I always just jump into like a... You know... Into a... Uh, they're gonna pick this, and then... I just go, oh yeah. That's right. It's so, bad. I'm assuming... I'm assuming the Doom's gonna be mid. Against the Void Spirit. And then they need to pick an offlaner last. And they don't know their matchup. Which is... A little bit of an issue. Radiant team back. Ban that jug, so ban the Viper teams. in this phase. Dire team pick. Yeah, the Viper bans to protect the Spectre though, right? I mean, they're not really taking much time on this draft, are they? Let's be honest. They're kind of whizzing through it here. Hmm. Now, let's see what they... Uh... They go for in this pick because they need. Well, they could go Doom mid. Oh god, this draft, man. I'm wondering because we've seen three Phoenix before too. Like, do, but against the Snapfire, like you're not gonna risk that, right? And they go Kunkka, so that moves Doom to the three. To the three, unless they want to go off lane Kunkka, but I don't think we're gonna see that. I mean, their lineup looks so greedy. Mm -hmm. I worry that they've done the same thing as Asteris did yesterday, Ten where they've picked remaining. something slightly too greedy, and Execration is just going to run at them non-stop. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, that's you know one of the things that has to be said about the path that Ehome Immortal have taken to get to this point is they've only faced Chinese teams, um, and we've talked about the difference in play styles. They beat Demonster oh, no, they... 2-0, they beat For the Dream 2-1, to and now they're they here against with... Execration. They played against the Droid in the play and stage, That's right? Very true. Yeah. But and they that won that was... third game on the on the Singapore server, didn't they? If I yeah. recall. Yeah. Disregard the, the first part of that. They the, the actual playoffs, they've only gone through Chinese teams. The playoffs um, that matter. I'm trying to think of who they pick here. Maybe like Life Seal or something would be okay, but I'm struggling to see another another hero. Maybe Slark. Uh is, You don't really want to pick PL either. I guess they could go like Ursa or something is okay. Well, what but goes on with like, the overgrowth? Like what's something that can alright, more fun. You may now select your heroes. Mm, okay. It's okay. I don't think it's amazing. Uh, Nyx is a good target to turn into, which is good. Um, yeah, I guess it's just they, their go-to. Because mm -hmm. I don't see any massive reasons why they pick them off. Like, there's a natural spirit vessel builder in the Nyx. They have decent lockdown. They have decent catch with the Kunk of the Nyx and the Doom. I feel like if it ever gets to the point in the game where Eho get farm, they should win. Like, the Spectre's gonna have Skadi, etc. And then the Wolf really struggles. 
But if Execration can play that game where they just run at you non-stop, especially with BDZ on this clockwork and uh, Ken on the Void Spirit, I feel like it's those up to those two to link up a lot in the like the 10 to 20 minute mark. Mm -hmm. Try and make things happen. Five seconds remaining. Yo, Mamoru also playing with the stand-in, Janova. Don't know if he's the older brother <laughs> of X Nova. <laughs> but he's Let's go with yes. Who's he in for? Uh, plant, he's in I for planet. Oh, is it planet? I thought it was plant. Oh. I think they wrote plant in the Discord. But oh, it's right. like planet two forty. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. That's that's their four position. So yeah, but like this Phoenix Five, Nix Four, like all the heroes are greedy apart from the Kunker. Mm -hmm. I feel. Well, even the Kunker kind of needs some role. things. Yeah, like even Kunker needs like 10, 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Of just time. He can like counter initiate by TPing if they dive under towers and whatnot, but I don't think Kuka really wants to be the one making the move necessarily unless he picks up like a power rune or something. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see how the mid matchup goes as well between Kuka and Voice Sprint. Be a good one. Yeah, you know, you've got that control going into that mid matchup if you're uh, Kunkka, but at the same time it's like we've seen good Void Spirits go up against Kunkas and just kind of style. Yeah, voice for it reminds me of TA a little bit, in that it doesn't matter what, T what TA's matchup is, if you're a good TA player, you should always have a decent time. Mm -hmm. Against like some, like obviously Viper and things, but uh, yeah, I feel like voice for it's the same, where if you're a good voice for it player, you always get at least a decent amount from the lane. Anybody going to any different lanes? BDZ has played really well throughout this event, I think. Yeah, oh, he's playing the tree. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, of course they are. It's RR on the clock, right? Okay. Thirty seconds to battle. <laughs> Love this snap fire talk, by the way. The taunt where he goes, in, where she goes into the bubble. Yeah. I just love the music. What is Ken doing? Why? He just got bashed by Roche. Free damage, man. What the hell? There's some free damage. The battle begins. And Phoenix is just here mid. Yeah, he's checking for yeah. ward. Yeah. And he's gonna grab it. So this this might be good prep for me, home. I mean, I don't know how they've decided that ward's there, but did he? Ch he might have checked on the other side of the river potentially, and he saw that it wasn't there. I missed that one completely. Well, the, the thing too is like we've seen a lot of these wards go on the high end of the river. Like it seems like there's been a shift from throwing it on that cliff on the bottom end to throwing it up where that ward was. Yes, yeah, because you can't check that ward. Position. Mm -hmm. So, like, where a lot of the teams have uh, used to come and check for that ward that was on the other side of the river. Not the, uh, well, sorry, the, not the other side of the river, but on his side. Mm -hmm. It was easy to find. But not that one. Ken already 4 and 1. Any of these lanes really interest you, like, uh, more so than the others, or are we just kind of looking around? Denied. I think the mid lane for me is really exciting, just the voice for it versus the Kunker, but yeah. uh, I think bot lane should be massively more favoured. Uh, I feel like when he gets levels especially, he'll be absolutely fine. Just needs to get to, like, like the level 3 mark or something. Let's see how greedy this Doom gets. We've seen some offlane Dooms really struggle. Top lane as well. 
Getting the damage in. Yeah, they might be able to kill the Spectre for first blood. They have the Nature's Grass down, but they just don't get the kill. Scatter Blast in two seconds. Uh, did they cancel the south? No. Just a little bit short. Well, that was really close. I think the Fire Spirits ended up saving Shiro because BDZ couldn't get a hit in. That south comes in clutch here for the Spectre. This Void Spirit's doing really well mid as well. Impress. Yeah, I was looking over. They had a, a funny trade of just like the Aether Remnant, but also the Torrent Lands at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I think she get a little bit easier here, I believe, for Ken. He's got these levels. He's actually holding a skill point right now. He'll probably, what, hold maybe the Dissimulate if needed? Yeah, I assume he'll go one one three, yeah. or like he might go one four two or something. I have no idea. I feel like I don't think he's gonna max dissimulate. Surely not. Not. I feel like it's not really his Ooh, clockwork. Bottom running from fifty nine. R R. Just getting out of the range and scorched earth. Not you know lasting long enough. Just a second off. Never in doubt. What's he going first on Morphling? What do we think? I, could, I mean, I could get behind like Manta E Blades. I think he needs a BKB at some point in the game. I don't know when that would be. He might feel like he needs Lincoln's up against the Nyx and the Doom. He's actually taking a significant amount of damage here, and he's not in a lot of trouble at the moment, but he's just kind of standing there and trading. I mean, they lost out there on the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Doom has to pop a cell. Jesus. Been told to stop saying that as much. Huh? Because <laughs> I I keep saying Jesus. Oh. X, as well as the torn attempt, but yeah. There's the dissimulate. Meanwhile, Cogs push away the Nyx assassin. Invis picked up for RR. So control for you know the rune for uh, execration. Oh, Spectre's using Dagger for CS top on the range creep, but he can't get it because the tree just punches them. He just gets the deny every time. Oh, whoa. First blood. <laughs> I just looked bottom too, and I was like, oh, it's the same situation where he's going to be okay bottom again. And I looked away for two seconds, and he, he's dead. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. He might try and push the Doom back here when there's less creeps on the tower. Battery Assault, Cogs, and the Waveform. Now they're both within the Cogs. Thunderclap used, but they've got the damage for a return kill. RR gets credit for that one. Meanwhile, Phoenix, well. he's low up towards top. BDZ throws down the Nature's Grasp. Icarus dive away. ZZQ will get out successfully. Really well done there. Whoa! 7E! Off the tiebringer. Ken just oh, I'm, I'm stood not there. On it again today. Jesus. I saw that one. Don't worry. He was just standing there and then just got slapped by that tiebringer. Pretty hard too. I don't know if he was ex like. Obviously, you're playing against the Kunkka. You should be expecting that. That was uh. Odd. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. And now the Kunkka gets the free TP back to base. Three bottle refills, hits the shower. Oh, look, he's full HP. So now up towards top, Regent Potato on the run back. Scatterblast, it's Shiro and ZZQ doing a lot of damage here. They don't have Nature's Grass. It's on cooldown for another 12 seconds. They're going to continue to give chase on to Shiro, hoping to get a kill onto the Spectre. Regent Potato, he may sit low here. Spectral Dagger used, just need to right click in. Another Scatterblast, that's what they get. And Raging Potato getting the kill onto the Spectre. So, both hard carries taking uh, a death apiece. Oh, looking for that Fire Snap cookie. Leech Seed, Nature's Grass, and the Scatter Blast. Really well done Ooh. there by BDZ and Raging Potato. See, normally I don't like Leech Seed, but in this lane, it's a lot of fun. I think BDZ is the only person we've seen play this, like, two points in Leech Seed build. Mm -hmm. I think we saw him go 3 2 0, and then he maxed out Living Armor. Ooh, even from aggressively. 
Now he morphs into the Doom. Free, free devour. Have that free gold. That's gonna help Palace farm. He doesn't get the um, the creep though. Oh, he does when he turns into Doom. Right. Okay. God, could you imagine having that creep on Morphling? Yeah. <laughs> Just how many, how many buttons do you have to press? The buff that Morphling needs. <laughs> Unplayable without. Seriously. Very, very slow for an execration game. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's mm -hmm. a little bit uneery, isn't it? Like, uneer. What do I mean, uneery? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a little slow, but they usually pop off around the 10 minute mark. Hotline, Doom now onto the Morphling. They've got the two-man stun for the Nyx Assassin. Sunray out. RR drops. Heavy in the strength on the run. And I think he might survive, but he's it's on the wire. Just survives. Can he get out? Wave form? Oh. 70. Meanwhile, dead mid. The chase is on the palace. They are behind the 2-1 tower. Now the haunt used. And they will finally drag four heroes down here. Rage Potato is coming Kunker, bottom. So is RR. RR doesn't have level six, so there's no hook shot initiation. Oh, the Nyx. Ether Remnant, Nyx Assassin. He'll go down. Can oh, be the caught rotation on his TP as well. Caught on his TP, so he has no TP to get back to lane again now on the Nyx. Well, eight and a half minutes in. They're, you know, they lose the morph, but they kind of step on the gas. Look at how much farm Raging Potato has. Oven Shoe. Oven shoe. No longer oven shoe for me. Yeah, he's not oven shoe for me anymore. We're on top Very of this game. Very disappointing. That's a name that definitely caught me by surprise. It's gonna forever be oven shoe for me now. <laughs> After yesterday. Oh, this Morphling TP's top to try and lane up against the Spectre now. Which he will absolutely love. And it looks like he's probably gonna go Lincolns by the way with that Ring of Health which is interesting. Yeah, because sometimes you see like a morbid, a casual morbid mask to start. I think if you're going Lincoln's though, you don't often, you tend to go for the Ring of Health instead of the morbid mask. Mm -hmm. It's all of a sudden a 1k lead here for Execration, and it's an early lead considering the fact that there is a Doom in the game. I feel like when there's a Doom, the Devourer just kind of bursts him up towards the top and as well as the team and you can see where the specters at in terms of net worth and the two supports impale oh, and the torrent he's around in the cogs rr now here with the x as well as the ghost ship coming in so rr in some trouble he'll end up dead meanwhile spectral top dagger well. used by shiro nature's grasp he's on the run waveform overgrowth gets used and they'll kill off shiro so Losing RR is definitely a, a sacrifice well worth it. That's and Voice sure. Rich found a double damage rune as well. Which could be very dangerous to play against. Fire Snap Cookie. Oh, Raging Potato. That was a beauty. And now they'll go with the Mortimer's Kisses. They might even get ZZQ if he's not too careful. The Doom's now out on the Void Spirit. Nature's Grass slows up the Doom. And are they just going to go for the deny? It looks like BDZ is deny. setting up for this. They've got the leech seed. I think he might just be staying close to keep him in his grasp just in case. Fire Snap Cookie hits on the Doom. Aether Remnant locks him up. 59 dies. Easy cube, meanwhile, dead to RR. And they'll just get J Nova away because he goes into the Vendetta. But this is three kills. And like I said, Mo, the 8, 9, 10 minute mark. All of a sudden, they're popping off. You were a little worried. It came up just a touch later. Raging Potato says, welcome to SCA, guys. This is how we do it here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me take a look at... Did they say that? Yeah. Okay, so it's Singapore, uh, China, China for this series. Yeah. I don't think we talked about that yet. No, we, ha we, we haven't talked about it. He has the mech now, though, by the way. <laughs> he's almost got for some reason, I think he, he's going in a medallion? Well, yeah, I was going to say, for some reason, he has an extra chainmail, so I don't know whether he's done that on purpose. I, well, he must have done. I wonder why he went for the... Yeah, no. But why would you give him a dally in this game? Right? Mm -hmm. There's no... 
real like physical damage at this point. It's not like you're playing against a TA or a Slada or something. Yeah. TP out from Janova. Or I won't spot him. He's now level 7. He's got that hook shot to work with. Twelve minute rune scorn's top. It's going to be an arcane for Ken. So that's another active rune in his bottle. Have they? He's going. Gotten the kill off the doom yet? They got more bottom, but that was post doom. So does that count? Did they get what? Sorry, a morph kill. So they got the morph kill via doom, but the other two dooms, I don't think have netted them kills, right? Well, no, they got the really early kill as well. But there's, there's been, yeah, the Dooms haven't achieved it, anything. Oh, man. So, Haunt, they're going over, and now they're going to jaunt on a Rage of Potato. He's in trouble. Icarus dive as well as the Fire Spirits. They'll go down with the Supernova. Rage of Potato ends up dead. They've got themselves the X. They'll pull back Ken. Aether Remnant hits on a 70. Supernova pops on the other side of this fight. They're going after RR. Sunray right on top of him. Shiro continuing to chase. Morphling's right here, so Morph's the more they coming. draw him in... The more Shiro might just be in some trouble. He turns around, and now he turns into the Spectre, where they've got the Spectral Dagger. They'll keep on with it. J Nova's low. 7E, X, Ghost Ship coming through on a Palos. Waveform. Did he, did he avoid that? No, he missed the X. Like, the boat hit, and the X came back slightly afterwards. Okay. So, well, technically, that means, yes, he did avoid it, but... <laughs> Interesting little play there. They didn't really get much out of that, but now there's a immediate Daya's smoke. They used Ghost Ship, they used Haunt, they used Supernova, and like, all they got out of it was... I, I want to say all they got was Rage of Potato, but he he was number two on the map in terms of net worth. So Sunray, Shot. Hookshot, hits onto Shiro. Shiro in some trouble. Overgrowth used. Nature's Grass is down. They get the kill onto Shiro and RR. He's burning away the Fire Spirits. That won't hit, but he will eventually die. Doom now, out on the Ken. They've got four heroes down here for the side of Yohoma Mortal. They're going to continue to go after Ken, but he gets helped out with the mech. They'll continue to chase. They've got the Scorched Earth. It's not it's enough just yet. Well. BDZ behind him is trying to help with the Nature's Grass. It doesn't do enough, but the Fire Snap Cookie. Scatterblast in a second. Down goes Janova. BDZ looking like he's going to follow suit after Ken. And ooh, ooh, one BDZ. more shot goes around in the trees. They'll chase after this Snapfire. Rage of Potato now on under the tier one tower scatterblast again fire snap cookie and with the rocket flare they get the kill but that's right into the torrent now they'll take out rage of potato rr right on 7e that's the x as well as the ghost ship rr gets pulled back gets hit by the ghost ship and 7e looking like he's gonna have another kill the infernal blade comes through and he will finish him off so four dead on the side of execration and it all started with a death by shiro mid lane as well looking over now morphling He's broken thanks to the Vendetta. Seven E's dead to Ken. He just TP'd and got the kill. Mo making me look mid. Miss that kill bottom. Hey, there was something happening mid this time. It's not like I was completely baiting you like normal. <laughs> that is true. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> he almost has the Lincoln's on the morph, which is really key. You know, their main chances of catching him are with X, um, X Impale or Doom. Um, and at the moment... Oh, no, they have the blink. They could get blink stomp on Doom as well, actually. He just needs to eat the centaur creep. Mm -hmm. 4k lead here for Execration. Morphin going... Okay, so he's got the Lincolns. Now he's going E-Blade. Yeah, I think the E-Blade's going to be really good, though. You want to burst down, like, this Doom, for example, or, like, as quick as you can. Even, like, the Spectre's susceptible to this, because the, the Spectre's not going to be building b Gimme right, anytime soon. <laughs> I would have preferred raw right-click damage, I think, but... E-Blade's still good. Always going to be good on Morph. So, ooh, hook shot used, hits... On to Janova. Sunray, though. Aether Remnant locks up this Nyx. RR gonna try and run from this Sunray of ZZQ. They've got the X as well as the Doom once again onto Ken. Supernova down as well as the Torrent. They'll get the kill out of this Void Spirit. Now Haunt comes out. But Shiro's dead. Palace yeah, got the kill I... up towards top. They killed the Spectre again. They used Kisses. They used everything. But Again, they keep... it feels like they keep finding these Doom kills, but they don't get good trades on the map. Mm -hmm. 
Shiro, still really far down in terms of net worth. X, Ghost Ship, Rage of Potato, Snapfire, Cookie, and the X will pull him back regardless. Ghost Ship ends up hitting him 59, will get the kill. They've got the Impel as well as the Lincoln's popped on Palace, Waveform away. He's got some distance, but the Icarus dive over All and right. ZZQ's looking to chase. The Torrent doesn't land. They've now got the X on a Palace. How far are they willing to commit onto this one? Void Spirit comes back alive, so he's going to TP to the Tier 1 Tower, and this might be trouble for the side of Ehome Immortal. The Blink, as well as the Inferno Blade, comes out into Palace, and Nature's Grass will slow him up. Hookshot now out onto the Phoenix. They've got the Cogs. That'll push him away from the rest of his team. Sun right down to the low ground, but they've got Ken nearby. Adaptive Strike, as well as the Astral Step to get the kill on his EZQ. Palace now on a killing spree. So, Execration. They grab themselves a Phoenix, but... Is I mean, it's, still the Spectre is it? managing to the Spectre's managing to get some like farm in the bot lane here, so it's, it's worth it for him Immortal. They just need to give him some space. Mm -hmm. He's not really a hero at the moment, <laughs> which is uh, a bit of a worry for him Immortal. But this Void Spirit's had like three deaths in a row. If it was like like all to do, right? Yeah. So he's he's like Ken's struggling. Tier 2 down, so yeah, they can take the outpost. such an early tier 2. Yep. They can take the outpost before the 20 minute mark now. So I think you have Immortal are going to try to want to come and contest this back again. Look at Nick's Assassin's Farm, it just feels like it's so low. Yeah. Meanwhile, mid hookshot hits, Mortimer's kisses. Look, kiss, kiss. 70 ends up dead. No mana here for RR, but they're not going to commit to try and get this kill on the clockwork. Meanwhile, Morphling, he's got so much farm. He's already got the Ghost Scepter going into the Eagle Song. He's only 2k gold away from him. I say only, but... You, you look at the, the split between him and Shiro, and, and I, I feel like only might even be the proper way to say it. Now they're going to go to Roche. And he did go for that medallion on the Snapfire, by the way. Which is interesting. I guess it's utility is for Roche more than anything else in the game. Mm -hmm. Coming over, though. Oh, they're trying Haunt to. News. Where will we jaunt to? Inferno Blade and now the Fire Snap Cookie. Spectral Dagger used that. About the Lincoln's on a palace who turned into the Doom. Devour a creep, so he's got that HP regen. Does he keep that he when he turns tree, out of the form? Yeah, he does. So it's got the Living Armor, Overgrowth onto the Doom, as well as the Nyx Assassin. They've got the Supernova, but this is away from most of the Radiant side. The Lose BDZ. Execration now don't have that Overgrowth, and we'll see if they go back into the pit to look and get this Roche. Aether Remnant, Fire Snap Cookie on a two, Scatter Blast. They got the kill to Jane over. Hookshot oh, missed! Hook. What? That Ken missed! Got it. Ken got it. Aegis is picked up by Ken. They get the kill on a seven. Eight. Now they look towards the rest. She was in some trouble. Icarus dive over, but they don't have the Supernova anymore. They've gotten the catch out on the Spectre. They'll get the kill to Shiro after he's done being taunted. Astro step across. He'll end up dying. But Ken, he gets low. ZZQ, he'll fall. Jane over on the run. Ooh, Spike Carapace as he comes out of the Dissimulate. The Aether Remnant doesn't land. Or continuing forward with Ken moving in. Fire Remnant, Mortimer's Kisses, the land down, Adaptive Strike finishes off J Nova, and another kill for Execration, all of a sudden up 8k net worth. This Aegis on Ken is actually insanely good as well, because now what happens is the Doom is really struggling, uh, gonna really struggle to find a target, because Morph has Lincoln's, a voice where it has Aegis. My so who does he want to do now? It, that fight started so well as well for Heavy Mortal, because they found the tree in the pit by himself. And he looked like he was absolutely toast. And they got the numbers advantage, but the, the Spectre just isn't a hero right now. Drums Yasha at like 21 minutes into the game. Mm -hmm. The Spectre's so underfarmed. We have just seen Shiro struggle just the entire time. He has E Blade now as well, so anybody that shows on the map at this point, I think, is, has to be careful. It's just really starting to get out of control for them. Top tower is under attack. They'll smoke up. Potentially leading to what could be the final fight. And 
I maybe hate to say that a little bit early, but they go after 7E. They've got the catch onto the Kunkka. The, the hook shot comes out of the back lines, and now they'll get the kill onto the Kunkka. Look for more. Icarus dive away by ZZQ. Aether Remnant doesn't land, but there goes Palos. Supernova comes in. They've got the right clicks to take out the egg. They'll look for the rest. The impale hits from the Nyx Assassin. Scatterboss thrown forward. Are they going to continue under the tier 3 tower? They've got the Aether oh, Remnant. They'll lock they over the fire snap cookie. They'll get that kill onto J Nova. Three heroes gone on the side of Ehome Immortal. And they lose nothing on the side of Execration. Beacop, that was the most stupid thing you've ever said. What? Are they going to carry on fighting under the tier 3 tower? Have you watched any of this tournament? It's day 20, Beacop. Come on. Of course uh, they're going to be fighting under oh. the tier 3 tower. I was going to say yes, they will. <laughs> For 300? All of a sudden, 11k net worth 22 minutes into the game. Yep. Like, like it just completely exploded in the last five minutes or so. Even this clockwork has treads, drums, and 1,200 gold on top. Jesus. Man, this is such and, a uh, crazy amount of net worth. Definitely don't look at the X worth, uh, XP difference as well. It's, it's even worse. Oh my gosh. Only 89%. I feel like it could be more. I think they saw them on the smoke there. Yeah, they picked oh, them out. Hookshot oh, hookshot hits onto two. Mortimer's kisses come through. 70 in a lot of trouble. The spike carapace locks up Ken for just a second. He's got the double damage. Now they'll use this haunt. Trying to move over to get the kill on a cam, but you gotta remember that he does, in fact, have Doom that more. second life. The Doom comes into the Morphling. They've lost themselves in Assassin as well as the Kunkka. Icarus dive all the way around, and look at this. RR just in deep. He's got the cogs around the Phoenix. Now he's out of them. Scatterblast hits. Is RR even gonna die? Overgrowth comes in. He finally falls. Meteor Hammer comes down right on to Shiro. If Shiro dies here, you got a sense that maybe they'll call GG on this one. Mm, I Do I have the Mofara skills? I think they'll give it one more go. But yeah, it's it's looking really rough. They didn't get the egg off, which is a bit of a problem. But even if they do, I don't think it matters because they have this snap fire ready with the uh, Lil Shredder. Mm -hmm. And the egg's still level one. Dyer's middle has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They do live to fight another day. I just don't have the Mofara skill. You need, we need like... Oh. Have you ever watched Family Guy? You know they have that weather reporter. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do that where you come to me and I'll be like, Game's over! And then we'll leave. <laughs> Aether Remnant hits on his easy cue. Icarus dive away. And all the gobble up and the spit out on a Palos. Jeez! The alley oop on a ZZQ. What a move. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think anybody was expecting Patrick Mahomes to come in. Jesus. I said it again. I uh, I did not expect that axe at all. And like, I just saw this morphing coming across my screen and you screaming. And I was like, what's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. That was amazing. I love it. Just 40 second cooldown, nothing crazy. Overgrowth, overgrowth, overgrowth. <laughs> BDZ just kind of spamming oh, just it. Just <laughs> I know, this Spectre and this Kunker have just been absolutely torn apart this game. They've, their network is so low in right. comparison to where they need to be. If he does that again, I'm going to raise the game volume super loud. <laughs> uh, at uh, ESL Birmingham, when we went to the arena to watch the event, there were some like bassy sounds like Overgrowth and the Warlock Golem that were just, when they got spammed, they were deafening. I should step forward as well as the Aether. I mean, they've got the silence. Oh. Evelade, that'll get the kill there on the J Nova. So he's gone for 30 seconds, no buyback. Yeah, they have the BKB on the morphing here as well. Fire snap cookie. Does he have the talent? Yeah, restores 200 health. 
BKB is pop. Oh, that's five really nine going enough. in. Oh, pops oh. the Lincolns. Was that with Doom? I think it was. Yeah. Now they've got the overgrowth onto three of these heroes. And PDZ moving with the Meteor Hammer. They'll get that down onto the Kunkka. They'll get the kill on his EZQ as well. 70, they'll buy back on the Phoenix. They've taken out the Doom. So with the Haunt, they're trying to move around Jaunt and try and find the right position. But they're not going to find it with Shiro getting locked up. The two-man Torrent comes in. But there's Regent Potato with the little Shredder. Oh, the Supernova F and the Sunray Palace in trouble with the waveform away. Shiro ends up dead. 50 seconds. No buyback, and there's the GG. There was the one more fight. They tried. That's fair enough. But now the net worth advantage is like 24k. We've almost hit that 1k advantage a minute, where for like 10 minutes the game was relatively even.